Go ahead. <laughs> cool. So I'm just following you guys. You're gonna go with us? Check out both out or what? Okay. She said yeah. No! Okay, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Ready? We're here. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> we haven't seen Elbow yet. It's over there. But it's all covered. You can't even... Don't even know what's going on in there. What do you think it's going to look like? I what's your fairing, expectation? I think fairing started, right? They, they put fa started fairing on the outside? Saida is like, mm, you, have to, you have to wait and, and see. The last pictures I've seen, I think, is from like a month ago or something. No, um, yeah, maybe yeah, the last pictures, yeah. yeah, a month. A month. The last there pictures which I have sent you to you, it's a month ago, but which you have sent to her. <laughs> it's like five months ago. No, she it's likes me like more now. One and a half a week ago. What? <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, let's go. You guys are ready? It's all covered up now because the fairing work started and uh, yeah, we don't get to see, get the whole grand scale because she's covered. So we're gonna take you behind the curtain. Ooh, there she is. Looking very white now. Not just. Lots See, of fairing that here. Change. Yes. Look at that. Oh. It started. Now you can see that the welts that you saw this way are gone. And yeah. this is how she's going to be nice and slick. And, and, and this just, is how the welts are covered. That's just the first layer. Yeah. It's not finished. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> She's enjoying we're just, it. Uh, sorry, we're taking it in, guys. I'm taking Whoa. it all in. What are these? Oh, look, look, look. Oh, and the water lights. I think these are... Okay, but only this one here. I think we should have two, no? Yeah, I think that's underwater light as well. This one? I believe so. Yeah. Should oh, be. maybe, yeah. Yeah, I mm -hmm. think you're right. Let's see on the other side. Yeah, it's also underwater light, I think. Yep, also underwater light. Nice and huge underwater light. Big underwater light. Speaking of underwater light, kind of an interesting topic because um, we're kind of excited about this huge, I think almost an overkill lights for our size of a boat in terms of what they are, right? Yeah, we have class approved underwater lights. And what does it mean? They're I guess more safe than, than some of the other underwater lights. So it's like a box welded inside uh, in case there's a breach of the underwater light and the water comes in, it doesn't actually flood the boat because there's another box welded inside which the water would then be trapped in. Yeah, yeah. so you don't normally see this on a 75 foot boat. No. But you see it on bearing 75. Yes. Okay, let's do it. So this is what Victoria is talking about. This is one of the underwater lights, or will be one. It's not in yet, but it will be one. And super jet lagged. We just came <laughs> in last night. <laughs> oh. Wow, so clean. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Did somebody just wipe the floor or something? <laughs> oh, yeah. And now there is a clear picture wow. of Lazaret wow. also. Okay, where do you want to start? We have a staircase. Let's start here. Yeah, this sure. is, okay, this is starting to feel even more. It feels more like a yacht now. Yeah. God, it's so big. It is, it is really I mean, beamy. we just spent four days, three days? Three four days, days. Four days. On bearing 92, taking it from, where did we go from? Freeport, I'm so jet lagged, I'm Freeport sorry. To, <laughs> we, we took it from Freeport to Nassau. Yes. And actually our beam is wider than the bearing 92 beam. Yeah, and, and back here, this boat feels bigger. 
than like the right 92. Like right here on the swim platform. It almost feels big. Yeah, it, no, it does. It feels bigger than the I 92. Agree. I agree. It's crazy. And we had some crazy seas, you guys. It was like four or five meter waves and that boat took it like a champ. Like a champ, yeah. It was, it was really scary seas and really short and like a washing machine, just crazy, but did really well. And the stabilization did really well. It was kind of impressive. It got me really excited about our boat because that was, that was, yeah. <laughs> that was not something you really want to be in. And we were the only boat around. No one around at all. Not a single boat for on the radar, nothing. Well, nobody cruise in the, ship. In the normal state of mind actually Yeah, would nobody go was out. crazy enough to go out. <laughs> just the bearing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. All right, let's do it. Okay, you wanna, let's just stop there and then we end with the engine room like we always do. Oh, okay, all right, fine, let's do it. Okay, I'm going there, you guys go there. You're gonna go this there. way, I go this way. What's this? That's new? No, why? These are the receptacles for the, for the, oh, you already, for they're the still water, there. No? We're going. Well, all of them? No. What? Yeah? What yeah. do you mean, the recept, for what? These are where the, the rails, rail? the rails getting, getting uh -huh. um, put this on. This wasn't here. I didn't see it before. Was it here? It wasn't here because... No, it's new. New, it's right? New, yeah. yeah. All these guys here. Here's one which is not covered, actually. You see the thread here? And that's where the rail is actually getting. Same here on top. Nice. All around already. And did you see that? Yes! This is <laughs> new! <laughs> well, I'm going to show it here. It's a nice compartment, actually. Yep. Yeah. So if we use it for shoes, we need some kind of grill on it, I think. A grill? What do you mean? Like... A vent. A vent? Yeah. But I'm also wondering if that's going to get very moist, if it's No, if, the, if it's, if it's yeah. nicely, you know, with the, with the angled pieces, the louvers. Yeah, it's nice. Did it's you see that there? these are cut out already, where all the dock lines are yes, going to go Yes, that through? looks really nice. I love it. So this is also railing, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, that's all new. Oh, this is great. It's really taking on shape. So this will be all openings, right? Yep. I think that's where we can stuff our dock lines yeah, in. Yeah, and that's, and that's a cap, um, cap stand? Uh, yeah. It looks so small. No, that's just the hole. <laughs> yeah. The cap stand itself is going to be yeah, great. Yeah. There is a foundation also of it. Yeah. Oh, that looks, that's great. Okay. I'm all about the access now. I think I moved on from storage to access. <laughs> After spending like three days on board of B92, I'm all like, how can I, can I see this? The, can I, like, I was all... Look at the size of this bench. It's huge, you're that right. That is bigger than 92. It's very big. Sorry guys, we're comparing it with 92. Sorry, because we're, yeah, sorry we're B92. Just, we're just on the 92, so it's kind of easy for us to compare it. But it, it's it. a big boat, but I'm just, I, I have to kind of, we have nothing else to compare it to okay, in that size. Okay, sit down. Oh, that is so cool. No. Come on. It's still a little dusty. Okay, here. Look, look. It's like how many how many U's can sit there? I don't know, but it's very cold. But how many U's can sit there? Me's? Yeah. Uh, Eight. How many Eight, me's? Seven? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Okay, so six. Six. So you can well, actually that's... we can have dinner with twelve here if we had to. Yes. Makes me want to look at that table one more time to make sure we created the right table for this. I think this is really comfy. Look, you can put like, oh, I love it. This is really cool. So that's where we're going to put our trays with the cup God, holders, it's right? It's so wide. It wow. is. It is actually mm -hmm. very, very comfy. Well, we will eat up some space where you are. It's not going to feel so roomy well, here. We will eat up some space with a table here too. Because here we'll have the... The bar element. This doesn't seem right, you guys. Yeah, it does. A drink fridge fits here and the thing? That doesn't seem right at all. We're going to look at this. Yeah, I think it just fits. Okay. Oh, they just painted this, huh? Okay, Our so uh, before, we, before we go in. Yeah. These are the drains from yep. the deck. They're already installed. Mm -hmm. um, same over there on the starboard side. Oh, yeah. So just pointing out all the new things that yes, we let's, haven't seen. Let's focus on the new because we already did, did this. Man, they must have just painted it's this. It's so clean. Mm. We're okay to walk on it? Yeah, we can walk. <laughs> It doesn't stick, right? <laughs> no, 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 it doesn't stick. Oh, um, wow, look at all this. So all drainage is, is in. Not all, but lots of the drainage is in. So look how done. big this is, actually. Yep. It's pretty large. Yeah, for sure. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Hello. Hello. It's okay? It's okay? Yeah, okay. <laughs> 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 New. New. New, I know, yeah. I know, I know. New. We need a um, floor mat there to yeah. clean our shoes. Okay, what else is new? Obviously, well, there's lots new. Go ahead. Okay, 
I I'm just looking around. So these are all the trays for the cabling already, mm -hmm. which is going to get installed. This is an access hatch for the engine room ventilation. Oh, I didn't know we had one here. The ventilation goes up here and then it actually gets the air from outside. Uh, you see the, the thing going over there? Uh huh. That's where the grill is going to be from the outside and that's where it's taking in the air or oh, blowing, it out, okay. blowing it out. Same on the other side. And goes pretty, into the engine pretty cool. room. Okay. So then we have, that looks like water piping is already in there. All the insulation is in. Look how quiet it is in here. Look at all this. Like they actually sprayed some kind of insulation or something on the aluminum first, some rubber material. And then the final insulation is gonna, gonna get put and over. And you see the insulation. Look at that insulation. It's really thick. Wow. Yeah. No wonder it's so quiet. This will be a very large sliding door. Speaking of quiet, being on bearing 92. Oh, it was super quiet. It was very oh, yeah. quiet. You couldn't hear. It was crazy hear. sea and you don't hear any waves on the whole. No, there nothing. was no squeaking really cool. or nothing. Just very solid. I don't know what this is here. Air conditioning? I think it's air conditioning. I think, yeah. The ventilation also, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, right here. You might be right. Or maybe, yeah. No. Are you sure or it's not a cabling? For no. Cables? no, it's not no. for cables. It's, a, it's a, an air thing, something. Yeah, I think for the ventilation, because for cabling is this. this oh, now it really feels like you can actually feel the dimensions. Look how big the space is here. I know. It's... Uh, it's so cool. People told us to stop saying how big it is. Why? <laughs> and I said like, when you're on board of this, then you can say, you can start saying it, but it's really freaking huge. So we're just going to say it until we feel like we don't have to say it anymore. But so <laughs> far, we only see it every few months and it feels every time very impressive. And they keep taking space away because they keep, look, this is, look how much is gone now with all of that and it still feels big oh yeah crazy amazing wow. amazing then here's now the door oh mm -hmm. now it looks properly looks and look right. how nice it is it's like it's nicely protected from oh, the whole that sill looks right now look you can fit through even when the oh. door's in yeah like that's easy. a lot better <laughs> even the sidewalks are huge okay wait hold on almost feel like they're too big yep oh yeah it's huge <laughs> it is pretty big i mean it really does not feel like a 75 footer you're looking here like you're like, all right, I'm on 120 for her. Oh, okay, wait, all the, jealous. all the windows are here. <laughs> oh, three windows are in. Yeah. Even yeah. though this is going to be covered by a fridge here. Freezer, sorry. That's going to be free. Yeah, that must be air conditioning, I it guess. It looks like it. Oh, you know what? Unless it's air makeup. I mean, you might be right. That, uh, I think because it goes forward, it might be air makeup. So for those of you who don't know what an air makeup unit is, it's actually a um, self-contained air conditioning unit, which takes air from the outside, from the exterior of the boat, dries it out, heats it up to a certain temperature, whatever the preset is, and then infuses it into the boat inside. So you have a positive pressure on the inside of the vessel and um, hopefully keep it smelling nice and fresh and keep the humidity out. And don't fall in there. Speaking of that, it's really important for down below. Yes, because down below we don't have any openable hatches. We built to class and for safety reasons we decided and more class uh, um, association doesn't allow us to have any openable hatches in the forward part of the vessel. And we decided not to have any on the mid part of the vessel either just to be safe and uh, don't have any le potential leaks or in heavy seas even something breaking. And there it's really important that we actually have fresh air coming into the lower level of our boat. That was a, a big thing because we were really debating yeah. if we were going to put openable windows like an insert into the master down below. And it's something we could have done, especially because we will be in charter. We just felt it's something that we always have to think about. It's, you know, if somebody leaves it open or mm -hmm. something and there's always possibility with a leak or something like that. So we decided not to do it. And for this whole time, we were like, is this the wrong decision? Is this the wrong decision? We're questioning it. And after being on that trip, I feel very, very good and, and comfortable with not doing it. We're going to have big windows. They're going to look really nice with no obstruction. When you're there in the crazy seas and you see that water splashing over the window completely, it really makes you feel like 
oh something would go wrong this can go wrong quickly and of course we have the separate compartments and everything but it is a scary thought when you in this kind oh, yeah. of seas and that you know on that vessel i just learned something new on this trip luckily we had alexi with us and um saida being here all the time probably knows all about it but we actually didn't know it so we had no idea that on all the bearings there's a uh, anything that's I don't even know if it's class or not class. It's just maybe a bearing thing, but we're going to find out more. But down below or on, on, the, on the lower level, all of the windows have a deadbolt. A deadbolt? What's it called? What's that? Dead, dead, I, uh, think, I think Alexi called it a deadbolt. If I'm wrong, I'm going to put it in the, a, into the a, next video. But yeah, explain what it is. Basically, when you look at the, at, at the windows down below, all the windows have a cover and it's removable you take the cover off it's a nice you know beautiful um, cover you take it off and you see kind of a bare stainless steel window behind it mm. with kind of like bolts it's, it's, bolts, no yeah. it's thread it's thread 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 yeah mm. the thread so apparently you have this metal plates that go in and you can bolt them really quickly it's a safety measure that you have yep. to be able to do and i didn't know that this this was a thing here in order, if you are going to go into a really heavy crossing, you know, or if you have an issue or crack in the window or something, that you can immediately put that on and it protects your boat from heavy flooding. Yep, that's, that's correct. very impressive. I had no idea that we're going to have that. And safety as well. S huge, huge safety. Yeah. I mean, that's the, the most thing the is safety. And in case you're guys wondering why there's a hole, that's one <laughs> yeah. of the escape hatches, actually. Ah, that will be one of the escape that's hatches. That's yep. right. That's right. Yeah. So it's going to be right in front of the cabinetry here because we're going to have the galley cabinetry here you have a big freezer and a countertop with our draw fridges and storage i believe right or microwave i don't really yeah, remember microwave anymore. storage yeah the whole, so now the you whole can thing. really nicely see actually where our crew quarters will be <laughs> true true what's that that's, that's, that's water. water right so yeah. that's our that's all washer our and dryer. piping for washer and dryer mm -hmm. yeah and then that's our piping for the uh, for the head for the crew for the bathroom. And what's that for? That is for the that's galley. For the yeah. Sink maybe. For the galley. Galley. Yeah. Yeah. That's no, That's for, there's a fridge, fridge, and the sink. Yeah. That must be going into this area. And what is that? That must be for the sink. This must be for the fridge. Unless that is drain. So that's where our galley ends. No, you in. know what? That is drain. They're the black one. Ah. I think. Well, this is how much we know. Yeah. We're here on a Saturday and uh, not too many people are working. It's nice and quiet, but also not too many people we can ask questions. <laughs> it's so interesting to see it in real life, actually, than just on a drawing. That's a good size crew, crew quarters, actually. Yeah. It almost feels small, but it always feels that way when there are no walls in. Yeah. Like the way it is. But it's, yeah, once it's laid out, because it goes all the way, it's actually pretty nice. It's a good bed. Mm -hmm. Look at that window. Yeah, they have a really nice window and a nice window in the um, in the bathroom as well. I mean, the crew is going to have better windows than the VIP cabin. <laughs> pretty much. The VIP cabin is going to yeah. be pretty sweet. But window wise, the crew wins for sure. You know what? They deserve to have nice windows. And somebody just recently asked, like, so are you going to have a crew mess? Um, I mean, technically, the pilot house is going to be a bit of a crew mess for, you know, for the four of us. If but, we it, but in general, we try and we, we tell them to be tidy, right? What do you mean? <laughs> okay, I got it. <laughs> Jet lag. Uh, we technically don't have a crew mess, but we set up this cabin. If you haven't seen the videos of how it's laid out, I'll put it in the description underneath the video that there is a pop-up table and you know, there's nice light, nice space. You can actually hang out in a cabin if you wanted to, you know, if you need to work, sit on your computer or anything, they will have a space for that here. So it's a bit of a, a personal two-person crew mess and then the pilot house, of course, for all the crew if, you know, we needed to, mm -hmm. to be together to have space separate from the guests. Okay, now let's do something. Yeah. I'm going to stand here where the right in front of the wall, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of the of the crew quarters. Okay. And you guys go all the way to the back door like that that people see what the scale actually How looks like. How fast do you want us to walk? No, that's fine. That's okay. fine. <laughs> you you Bye. look so you look so little already Bye. in the screen here. So okay, right at the door, right where the doors. Oh, I thought it fit here. No, no, right where the doors. Yeah. Wow. This is crazy. 
I mean, you almost need a walkie-talkie. You will need walkie-talkies. <laughs> <laughs> and it's already taking some place, you know, for the installation and the inst we're installing this, this place for the cabling and it's still a lot of place. Crazy. I think I it was the absolute right decision, at least for now, I feel that this way, that we kept everything open like an open floor concept, right? I know when we be cooking, we will have some smells, of course, from, from, from you know, the chef being in the galley and preparing some meals, but we have a really good ventilation, right? Um, and lots of doors. I mean, these two doors open are a you know, huge amount of ventilation. Yeah. Well, speaking of that, we didn't poke our head out here yet. Yeah, these sidewalks are incredible. Oh, look, all the, all the um, scapper things are already cut out. Yep. Look how big they are. Put your hand there. Just don't touch the fairing. Oh, yeah, they're huge. Yes, it's, it's hot. And all, all along there, you can see them. Yeah. They're all along. Oh, they're really big. This is pretty comfy. And here's the insert you can see already. Oh yeah. For the, um, what's it called? The boarding ladder. Mm -hmm. Which gets put in here. Love it. Me too. Oh yeah. That's great. Okay, should we go down below? Okay, let's do it. Okay, Saida, you were ahead. Lead the way. Lead the way. <laughs> It's amazing how much quieter it is in here right now, right? Mm -hmm. Because of yeah, the insulation. Yeah, just be careful, guys. Yeah. Yep. Do one at a time. Doing oh, well. it slow. Go slow. You look like a rapper today, with your leather <laughs> pants and your puffy jacket slid back. And just need to get you some gold chains. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> looks like you're gonna start rapping in a moment. <laughs> oh, it's cold in here. <laughs>